Hey everyone. So a little while back, I came across this crazy deal on this HP Elite Desk. I ended up snagging this for like this insanely cheap price. For about, I think it's about 50 bucks or so. I have the image up on the screen. But it comes with a Ryzen 5, a 3400G Pro, and 8 gigs of RAM with a 256 gigabyte SSD. As soon as I saw this deal, I jumped on it. And ideally, I bought this because I wanted to replace the current server that I have, but I also figured before I set this up to be my home server, I'm going to go ahead and mess around with it and see what we can do gaming wise with this thing. Now, I went ahead and did some tests of this a little while back, playing some games on Windows. But ideally, what I wanted to do was scrap that and install Linux. And I went ahead and installed Cache OS. Now, I do got to say, getting one of these PCs, your mileage may vary because originally my BIOS was locked and I had to do some crazy work around it. I'm talking about shorting out a capacitor on the motherboard so that we could reset the BIOS so I could get something installed on this, even updating the BIOS firmware was impossible without doing this. I went ahead and did all of that on Windows and then we went ahead and installed Cache OS. I'll have up on the screen just a quick fast fetch of what's going on. I ended up replacing the RAM on the system. I put 16 gigabytes that I had. However, I wasn't able to change the RAM speed. Uh, that thing was locked in the BIOS. It's very limited. So we stuck to 16 gigs at 2400. And originally I wanted to see what is the most intensive game I can get running on this thing and immediately I went with Marvel Rivals. Now unfortunately this did not prove to be a good experience. Here I have a image of the benchmark because I actually couldn't even record this thing. Seeing that this computer only had DisplayPort outs, I couldn't get my capture card to work here. So for this very intense game on this system, I ran the benchmark and then I took a screenshot after just so we could get some of the results and it did not look good. Average FPS from the benchmark of 19 frames per second, 1% low of 9 FPS. So that means we already were not in good territory here. So eventually I said, all right, we can't play those games, but there are plenty of games that we can run on this system. First thing I did was I went ahead and installed Bellatro. This thing will run on anything. So here it is just running in the background, smooth 60 frames per second, and it is actually running with the OpenGL backend. As you can see, with Mango Hut up there, the only reason you'll see GPU spikes up to 100% is actually because of the uh, recording that I did. So not only was I able to play the game, but I was able to record and play the game. So most likely, if this is the only game you play and you even wanted to stream this, you were able to. And this was recorded with OBS using the H.265 encoder. Up next, I said, all right, pixel games work good. So I went ahead and loaded up Intravenous. Many of you know this is a great indie game from the same people who uh, also recently made the new Ninja Gaiden Ragebound. So I went ahead and loaded this game up. I also loaded up part two, which I'm not showing here as well, but both of them work really well. Uh, you can see up top it's running in OpenGL and it's hitting 144 FPS. And the reason it's doing that is because that monitor that I was using for this was a 144 hertz monitor. Uh, for the rest of the games on this list, I actually locked it to 60 just so that we could have smooth gameplay. This worked really good. Doesn't even stress the system. Let's move on to the next one. This next game is a game that they gave away a little while back on Steam and uh, it's actually a pretty cool racing game. It's very reminiscent of like old school Ridge Racer, uh, but this is Hot Shot Racing. And this thing, again, 60 frames per second. We're using DXVK here. It's a DX11 game. All of these theme games are using uh, Proton Experimental. We just kept it very basic, very simple. And we're using Cache OS's game performance. So as you can see, this just runs it, no issues, while recording as well. So this is another big thing to mention with these, while recording. So a lot of times you'll get issues recording and gaming with low end systems like this. The next game is Uma Musume, pretty derby. And I just went ahead and ran a race here. This game runs at 30 lock. This is not an issue. I just did a daily race here with this one. And it's just doing it effortlessly. The XVK, so it's running under DX11. No issues here, just horse girls running. 
2番手はグラスワンダー3番手エルコンドルパサー少し離れて6番5番手ウォッカ2馬身離れて1番1馬身離れて2番少し後ろから7番それを見るように12番1馬身差9番後方2番手に8番最高峰ポツンと1人5番サイレンス鈴鹿先頭を進みますがこれは正解でしょうかサイレンス鈴鹿彼女の客室には合っていますね先頭集団を見ていく The next game I decided to test here was Ninja Gaiden Rage Bound. Now, I actually did a full playthrough of this on a live stream, so you can check that out in the live stream playlist.、It、runs at 60 FPS, no issues. Running under the XVK, and as you can see, this one's using GE Proton 15 because I used Lutris to run this game because this is the GOG version of the game. So I made sure that information was available there on the Mango HUD so that you guys could see. It's using the Proton GE latest, which at the time of this recording was 10 15. Continuing the trend of newer games, we have Hollow Knight Silk Song. And this game, I'm running the GOG version here. It is running smooth like butter, no issues while playing this. I even went ahead and tried the first Hollow Knight, which, you know, it's a given. It's a 2D game. These things can run on anything. And this $50 PC is. It's a steal if you're only into games like this. Now, I know I can play a lot of those newer 2D games, but what about the older 2D games? Older 3D games? Here we have some emulation testing. Now, I'm going to run down some emulation here. We're going to start with PlayStation 1, and we have Crash Team Racing here, running on Duck Station. And this, I believe, is running at 5x. Yes, it's 5x resolution. So we set it up for 1080p. We have the、uh, PGXP enabled. And as you can see, it's just running it very easily. The Ryzen 3400G is an emulation powerhouse, so this is a, one of the best case scenarios for this. Moving on to PlayStation 2, here we have SmackDown. So here we have the emulator running on a,、uh, I think it was a 2 to 3x resolution. Game is running flawlessly, but your mileage will vary. If you want to do other games, some games you can't move past 1x, but for the most part, a lot of games like these wrestling games, sports games, you'll be able to up the graphics to 2 to 3x. This one just happened to run perfectly. Now we're moving on to PlayStation 3, and this is where things really start to fall apart. A game like Outrun that I have here, Outrun Arcade, this will run perfectly on this thing. I noticed that a lot of the、uh, PSN titles will run great here too. And if you notice any hitching in this recording here, it is because the encoder was slightly overloaded. Mind you, we're playing the game and recording on the same system. But Outrun Arcade ran perfectly. But don't expect to play something like God of War Ascension on this. That is very compute heavy and will not run so well. But there are a lot of light titles like this that will run. Moving on to PSP, and here we have Tekken Dark Resurrection.、Uh, this one ran pretty good. This one I、uh, went up to 4x, I believe, the 1080p. Well, yeah, as you can see on the top right hand side, we have 60 FPS running at 100% most of the times. And those little fluctuations are, you know, things that normally happen. You get a point fluctuation up and downwards. Yeah, PSP can be played with PPSSPP with upscaling, and you could also do some texture enhancements here. You win. Round two. Fight. The next one I have here is Virtual Fighter 2 running on Beetle Saturn through RetroArch. 
This, in my opinion, is one of my preferred Saturn emulators. Beetle Saturn runs everything I've thrown at it, and while you don't get to upscale or do anything like that, this is probably one of the best Saturn emulators out there. And we all know how uh, how tough it is to run a lot of Saturn emulators. You need a lot of compute, but this this CPU can get it done. Moving on to Dreamcast, here we have Soul Calibur 2. We're using the Flycast emulator here. This is a 3x resolution, and you can see the frame per second on the bottom left hand side of the screen. And I also have the little VMU image on the top left. Looks pretty cool. I have this running on Vulcan, we're upscaled, and it's also using the per pixel implementation for better accuracy. <laughs> With GameCube, I decided to run F-Zero, as it is typically one of the harder to run games. Not only does it run the game, but it runs it really well upscaled. This is a 2x upscale, I believe, and we still have room for more. If you look at the top right hand side, you can see the speed is 100% with the max being a fluctuating number there. So that means we, we probably could have taken this up at least one more step in the resolution. But this works perfectly fine for me here. We're sitting at 60 frames per second. Next, we're doing Wii, and this is the same 2x resolution, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. This thing could be taken up a lot further too, because this is uh, one of the less intense Wii games out there, so we probably could get away with doing 5x on this one even. You can see the speed at the top right is at 100%, our max is at 260. Yeah, there's, there's a lot left on the table here. We could probably also get away with uh, texture replacements on this one too. That mostly depends on uh, RAM. test the limits here i think we just hit it with xbox original here using x emu and uh, this is not a good time here this is just uh dead or alive three and it is already struggling now it's not struggling because we're recording because i also did the same test while not recording and it was just as bad so it doesn't seem to be uh, affected by the recording but just showing you here so that you can see that it's you know we're hitting limits it's also worse if we switch over to the vulcan implementation that thing just halved the frame rate so yeah, Xbox, no go. And now, while I know that we can't play anything like Borderlands 4 on this PC, one thing we could play is actually Borderlands 1. We have the Enhanced Edition here running at 720p. We locked it at 60 FPS with VSync. And, and we're actually able to play this here. And even though it is 720p, you really almost can't even tell the, um, the downscale because of the art style, which is really good. So yes, while you can't play Borderlands 4, you can play 1 and 2, and maybe even the pre-sequel and get away with it here. Alright, so that about does it for this PC. Now, I'm not going to be using this PC as a gaming PC. This is going to be replacing my home server, which is going to run Jellyfin and Piehole and things like that. But I wanted to show you what it could do if you ended up snagging a $50 deal on a Ryzen 3400G. If you guys like this video, don't forget, give the video a like as that's the more important thing to do now on YouTube as you may have heard the changes that YouTube has done in the background. Comment down below what you would have played on this or what OS you would have used. Subscribe for more gaming and Linux content and I want to thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.